Hi guys, it's Stefan from EBC and welcome back to our Tech Talks video series. Today I'm back with Steve Payne, our Research and Development Manager, and we're going to be talking about our two really exciting new compounds, SR11 and SR21. Steve? Okay, so yeah, these are the two new products. They're um, top-end race uh, pads, and the big uh, difference really between these and all the other products in the range is that these are a sintered metal product rather than a, an organic product. Okay, so Steve, what is the difference between an organic product such as our RPX pad and these sintered pads? Well, organics are basically most pads out in the marketplace and they're, they're bonded with a resin which holds all the other ingredients in place. A uh, sintered pad is actually a fused metal matrix, so uh, very much stronger and very much more temperature resistant. Okay, so one massive advantage to these pads that we found during testing is the fact that you don't really need to bed them in. Why is this and uh, what causes this? Well, they don't, um, they don't need to be thermally bedded. That's, okay. that's the benefit. The processing temperatures are extremely high. Um, they lay down a transfer layer onto the disc very quickly. Uh, so just a bit of mechanical bedding, a couple of laps, just to make sure everything's square and seated. Um, but they don't need to go through the thermal bedding that uh, an organic pad would. So you said earlier that these are a sintered pad, and obviously sintered pads have a much higher metal content, but these pads actually run really cool, which you know you wouldn't think considering they have more metal. So how, how does this mm -hmm. work? Well, they're quite a conductive material, so they, they'll draw heat away from the disc. Um, so despite them being able to withstand very, very high temperatures, uh, they, they don't overheat the discs. Okay, and what is the operating temperature window of these pads? Well, they're good from cold, um, but they're, they're comfortable up to about 900 degrees C. Okay, that's great. So what differentiates the SR11 to the SR21 material, Steve? Well, they're, they're two friction levels, really. Um, they're both high. SR11 is a high friction level. The SR21 is an extremely high friction level. Okay, so we, we've done a lot of testing in uh, GT3, GT4. Where do these pads sit in the market and what are their applications? Uh, well, they're track-only pads. Um, the SR21, we've found, has worked front axle of, uh, sort of high-level GT cars. Um, the SR11 being a slightly lower friction level, some drivers have a preference for that. It's also worked well as a, a rear axle uh, material with the SR21 on the front. Okay, so another thing you briefly touched on earlier is the fact that the wear rate of these pads is very good. Um, but it's actually the wear rate of the discs that's really impressive as well. Mm -hmm. How does this work? Well, the pad lays down a uh, protective layer on the disc. Um, so you get a little bit of material transfer uh, from the pad onto the disc which protects it, it actually causes the disc to grow very slightly in, in the early uh, parts of testing. Uh, and this is uh, where the very good disc wear comes from. So this is all really exciting stuff. Not only is it the first sintered pad we've ever made for automotive use, but it's the highest level race pad we've ever made. Mm. We've got quite a lot of high-end teams this year running these new compounds, which is again, another really exciting aspect. And we're all really looking forward to seeing the results that those guys bring in, and we will be offering our full support to them throughout the season. As always, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope we've been able to teach you a little bit about these two new compounds. So as always, if you've got any questions or you'd like to find out any more information about these two new compounds please do leave a question in the comments or head to the link in the description thank you so much for tuning in and please don't forget to like and subscribe see you on the next one